If you are a subscriber welcome back if not welcome to the channel definitely hit that subscribe and like button today as you can see in the title we have a pair of rick owens berlin pants with the beautiful off-white cream drawstrings that are iconic and very well known in rick owens designs so this is a personal grail of mine which is why i picked them up i'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of the details we have this button fly uh, so you can take a proper pee and not plop your junk over the waistband when you pee. Uh, you know, Rick Owens does put a lot of nice details into his work. Uh, I think this is actually an underrated detail in some sweatpants, actually. Now, moving on to the back, we have the Velcro pockets in sort of a square shape. Sorry, it's getting washed out by the camera, but just trust me, they are square. And that's something Rick Owens includes on many of his bottoms is the square pocket. We also have these tags, which is one of the more interesting things about Rick Owens. They always have really cool tags uh, and information on the inside of the garments. And this one is just basically, other than wash instructions, letting you know that it's made of a beautiful organic cotton, uh, part of a more sustainable practice that the brand has taken up as of late. Now, if you look here, of course, you have the Rick Owens classic silhouette for the dark shadow. There are two black, like the line, the bar tag that is in pretty much every Rick Owens garment. But I didn't show you that just because of the fact that it's, it's all black. And of course, last but not least, you see it. Well, I shouldn't say of course, because this is not in every garment. It's not always featured. But in this particular garment, as well as a few others, uh, mostly jackets and pants, you see this Rick Owens dark shadow uh, sort of a sash on the inside kind of like how off-white does that long tag and then you just have the stitched in dark shadow label uh, as well as the, like the little inverted pentagram symbol he's been using a lot more as of late and uh, it's pretty much just a tonal stitch uh, nothing crazy about it I chose to leave it inside my pants on the on body because I don't tend to wear it outside now you've probably seen these pants on various celebrities slash influencers across instagram twitter wherever and you know they're pretty popular but they are popular for a reason as they're one of the more versatile looks slash silhouettes that rick owens actually has come out with and speaking of the silhouette that is exactly why they're called uh the berlin sweatpants because berlin is referring to a specific cut slash silhouette as there are jeans and other pants that are not sweatpants as you can see here so basically it's just a slim slash skinny or straight cut pant. Um, sometimes they vary in how tight they are, but the more recent pairs usually go a little bit further away from the leg and therefore they're more of a straight cut. Now as for pricing, these go for a fucking disgusting amount, like 600 bucks or sometimes more, depending on the season and the material slash color they're made in. Now this is the Rick Owens website. I got mine from uh, actually in clothing. They pretty much remain sold out on most sites. Um, you may catch them in between seasons, especially more in the, in the hotter months like the summertime. But the cheapest pair I found, and by the way, don't just buy them from the site or the Rick Owens site or just one store. Cause you know, if you shop around, you can always find various prices on damn near the same item. That kind of goes for everything, not just Rick Owens. 
but I did get mine from in clothing. They were like three forty nine after shipping from Great Britain. It was like three ninety four. Uh, I didn't get the one with the little dark shadow logo embroidered on it, but they're all sold out anyway. So I did. I don't think it really matters which one I show you guys, and they're all black. But they are made of a beautiful organic cotton, and they do have a unique look. Uh, you know, you get that moody kind of loungy Rick Owens vibe. And you still kind of have the comfortability and versatility of a pair of sweatpants that fit great. Um, I think if you try to recreate this look with other sweatpants, you may not nail it right on the head because Rick Owens uses a certain type of material and a certain cut to make it look in you know this way. So as far as pricing, you know they go for high amounts, and the resale uh, it's is usually just as high as the retail or even higher sometimes depending on what season like i said or the colors or whatever so definitely not for the frugal but i do think if you get this pair uh and i mean by the way i've worn these many many times already uh instead of getting them straight out of the box and doing an unboxing i actually want to wear them around and see if i liked them before i even did a review and i absolutely love them not only are they comfortable they look great with like a lot of my clothes they're a very easy thing to wear and of course wearing them with rick owens looks just as good as wearing them with a vintage tee or something like that or some other uh you know avant-garde like Julius. so in regards to whether or not a uh, garment is worth it i've said in previous videos it kind of comes down to like the utilization versus the price like there's a ratio how much can i use this and how well is it going to hold up based on the purpose that it was intended for uh, and then how much am I paying for it? Now, you know, that's the basic stuff. That's how I kind of look at it. But to be honest, I get a ton of wear out of this pair of pants in particular and you are going to get a unique shape. Uh, what fashion is in general is just, you know, people trying to interpret things in their own unique way. So you should pay for something that is unique, that will give you a unique shape, a unique look. I think Rick Owens does that. No one else really can do the Rick Owens look like Rick Owens. So personally, you know, uh, when you pay for Rick Owens, you kind of pay for more than just the garment, you know, just like with a lot of brands. Uh, Rick Owens doesn't do a lot of you know, marketing the way Gucci does either. They're rather independent brands. So I think that does contribute to the higher prices. I think Rick Owens is one of the few independent designers that actually stayed independent like throughout the entire run. So that's something I definitely respect. Uh, the construction is always top notch. It's made in Italy. Uh, you know, that way he can avoid the import fees or getting Italian materials. You know, he's playing a smart game. Rick Owens does some of the best uh, moody Gothic, but still elevated pieces that I can find as far as the avant-garde section of fashion, you know, in fashion as a whole, really. Uh, so me personally, I look for all that when I buy Rick Owens. Sometimes I will buy retail stuff, you know, as far as the high fashion realm or in general. But generally, I buy from Grail or something like that. The only thing was that this pair didn't really go for a lower price on Grail like a lot of other other things. Uh, this actually went for a higher price. So yeah, I came out cheaper getting it for retail, uh, actually, in this, in this particular instance. So normally, like I said, I, you know, in other videos, I'd recommend you get it off of Grail. Um, was it worth it to me? Yes, because I not only got a very versatile, uh, beautiful, organic, and sustainable piece that's unique. It isn't just a blank or screen print. Um, something that does, yeah, it does reoccur. It's part of the permanent collection of Rick Owens, Dark Shadow, and I think the main line has the drawstring Berlin's as well. But I think this is something that's going to be a staple uh, as far as Rick Owens fans, Rick Owens heads, whatever. People who generally like Rick Owens are going to gravitate towards this look when they want to put on something that's versatile, but still elevated and still unique, still avant-garde. Cause it still gives you that nice beautiful all black silhouette or you can mix it up and throw a couple of you know muted colors in there you can do something different just make it your own for this particular pair of pants is it worth it i'd say yeah i'd say it's worth it honestly 
is it worth the $600 retail? I'd say try your best to find it cheaper or try to find it on Grailed. But if you can't find it cheaper, I mean, you kind of got to do what you got to do. If you wait around too long, they're all gone at retail and then they go up and resell. You know, you might find that you regret not purchasing them. But in general, you know, for the retail price, I'm going to say nothing is really worth it if you can always find it cheaper. Always find it at the cheapest price. Uh, don't be snobby and say, I purchased it straight from the store. I paid $600. It's not a flex to spend more of your money, <laughs> to be honest. So that's my thoughts on it. I highly recommend this pair of pants. Highly recommend Rick Owens. Uh, absolutely love these. Absolutely love Rick Owens as a brand, as a designer. And he looks like a pretty cool guy, too. So definitely, like I said, check Rick Owens out on Grailed and eBay. Um, and then if you have the cash and you got to get something off the site at retail, go ahead and grab it. Stop. Look off. Well, take a picture of me. Take a picture of me, Andy. Hey, this is fucking hard. That's it.